Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Friends inspired card. Well, I'm not actually going to make a card, but I'm going to start by making the carpet of one of the scenes um, where Chandler, um, the chick and the duck are sort of sat near the canoe. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've got some slate alcohol ink and this is just Nina Desert Storm cardstock and just a piece that I've worked out would be the sizing that I'd need. So it's no, it's about an inch and a half maybe by I think about five and a half inches, something like that. And I um, <laughs> I just used the alcohol ink on this paper instead of on a like a Yupo or something and it worked out fine. It's just everything in this scene is very, very bland, very beige. So I just used as many of those sort of colors that I had. Um, the windows here are from an old Stampin' Up! window die set and um, they were the, just the better shape window of, of what I had. So this is going back through all my stuff just to see <laughs> what I had that would work for this scene. Um, I've been wanting to do a chicken duck, you know, from Friends scene. Um, it's one of my favorite um, shows like it is for so many and I just I had to do it. So <laughs> I used some antique linen on a strip of cardstock about a quarter of an inch um, wide or high um, and also on the windows. And then I have these strips of cardstock. They're about three quarters of an inch wide. Um, I didn't worry too much about the length but they are about the length of the windows or a bit longer than the windows. And I'm using some tea dye Distress Oxide. And I didn't do anything other than getting the ink on there. I didn't, I wasn't smooth with the way I put it on there either. I just got it on there because I wanted that sort of shabbiness about it because that's just how that scene sort of came across to me. And then this canoe is from a Cricut cartridge called Just Because Cards. And so I've kept the like add on piece, that thin piece, and I've cut off the parts that would be the oar of the canoe. This is the only canoe <laughs> I had in my <laughs> my plethora of things. Um, and so I'm using some brushed corduroy oxide on this on the canoe. And again, I'm not being too careful about it. I'm just getting that ink on there. Um, there are some guidelines on there, but you're not really going to notice those in the end. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> so a bit of clean up. And I, I loved doing this, but it took me a long time to work all this stuff out. So now I have antique linen just in the regular distress ink that I'm going to use on the table and the chair. The table comes from the bell jar, part of the um, bell jar alterations die, which I've had for years. And I'm going to alter it <laughs> so it looks more like the table, well, sort of like the table in this particular scene. Um, in the end, I actually... Um, <laughs> do something weird and I cut down one part of the table so it really looks a bit odd so I probably need to fix that afterwards but I was trying to get everything as close to what I could see in the scene and I didn't have a deck chair either so this chair actually comes from the country life cartridge cricket cartridge and so I'm going to and there's a cat that sits on it so I'm actually going to finagle and cut quite a bit of this chair away so that it looks more like the deck chair that's in this particular scene. So um, honestly, if you Google, if you Google uh, Chandler chicken duck canoe, the scene will come up. <laughs> so, um, But I just tried to make this look more like the deck chair that's in the background. So um, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look exactly the same. <laughs> But it, it kind of works out okay. And then for the legs, I just I couldn't get my head around the legs. So in the end, I just cut more of them off. Um, I needed to shorten it and then I just cut all the inside bits out. And it, for the most part, looks okay. It's not perfect. Um, I don't have a deck chair either in my stash. So this is some of the things that you <laughs> learn as you're trying to do things like this. Um, the table I will also um, finagle a bit more. Uh, it's almost in the scene. It's kind of the top of the chair is sort of level with the uh, top of the table. So I trim this down a bit more now uh, just to get it to look a bit more like 
what's in there but <laughs> like I say in the end it doesn't work out quite like that and it lands up looking a little odd so I need to fix that afterwards but you know you, you, you've got to try these things so here's where I decide that the table is actually too not only too wide but it's also too thick so I trimmed off the edges and then I just cut the the depth of it in half and then just rounded the top two corners and that sort of made it look more table like because <laughs> basically in this scene they've got they, they've got a canoe and they've got some garden furniture <laughs> as their <laughs> as their furniture so for the um like the the galvanized tub that the that duck is sitting in i'm using um a stamp set called rubber dub uh, from lawn fawn and i've got the tub part which i'm going to finagle and then i'm going to also finagle the duck in a minute don't worry nobody was hurt <laughs> um so i'm creating a, a slit in the tub so that i can slide put the the duck within inside the tub um and i want this to look like this galvanized galvanized thing that that is in this scene so um and to get the duck to look like he was sitting without his wings out I had to cut his wings off sorry duck um but it's fine <laughs> so it looks a little odd and I could have used swan soiree but then they are swans not um which is another lawn fawn stamp set um but I didn't have any sort of sitting ducks as it were so I kind of created one <laughs> sort of um so yeah it looks like he's got no wings but you know it, it, it kind of works um yeah and then with a white gel pen I'm just getting rid of the other stamped marks and then I've got some Prisma um, this is like fancy um, stuff you have to shake it like crazy before you actually put it on there and it kind of creates this sort of uh, it's got like a I don't know how to explain it but it's got like this weird sort of it creates almost like a crackle but it's not a crackle It's it's got this sort of very cool um, prisma kind of look and um, I've had these for years and I've used them for a number of different things and I've actually done some other um, projects with it but I just thought it would look like the galvanized steel of the bucket <laughs> or the tub that the duck swims in so that's why I used that I also colored all the other images and um, the like pad for the chair uh, the chair has this sort of um, this like like woven with a slight blue in there so that's sort of my version of it on this chair because like I say I didn't have the chair I could have used a piece of ribbon actually if I had ribbon that was sort of that style that gingham-y woven look to it then I could have probably used a piece of ribbon around and wrapped it over the chair that would have been a good idea as well but you know when you're in the middle of it you're just kind of getting at things <laughs> trying to get things where they need to go so um and forever having glue drama so ignore that but i put the carpet on and i was really chuffed with the way this carpet turned out it is that very if you look in that scene it, you'll see it's that sort of weird mottly old-fashioned i think we probably all had them in our houses at some point carpet and um but because i needed to because my characters were the other way around um, they were facing a different direction I had to actually switch the whole scene around so my scene is the opposite way around to the way that the actual scene was um, or if you see images of it online so <laughs> and this is where I realized I actually have to put it the other way around so um, because my little character for my Chandler is facing the opposite direction and so I had to just switch everything around and my ducks also facing the opposite direction so that worked out well for them but obviously I didn't uh, <laughs> think about that I had to just swap them around so not not the end of the world but so I was just trying to get my head around this here because I was trying to do the opposite to the image itself and then um, so the little strip I've put there if you ever need to define between like a wall and a floor use a tiny little strip almost like a skirting board and that just gives that illusion that you've got a wall and then the floor coming out from underneath it so um so that's what i did there and then just getting my windows on um and again just working out because on the what would have been the left 
is now the right you kind of don't see the whole of one of the windows you only see part of the window on one side um, so that's what I'm doing here and then just trimming off the edges so that you just lose that you know so it makes it one one within that scene that piece of cardstock I think this cardstock is about a five and a half by five inch piece something like that because I think I was going to start with a five by seven um, and I don't know why I didn't carry on with that but I think that's just how the sizing worked out better with the size of the characters and everything else um, so yeah and then putting my second window because there's actually two windows in this scene uh, there is also obviously the counter from like the kitchen and you know the wall where the dartboard is and things like that but I didn't have enough uh, like <laughs> images I could have drawn a dartboard a dartboard um, and done that but I, I didn't so I left a couple of the things out of that scene um, and just sort of stuck to the main part which is the characters themselves so these strips are now these are my curtains and again you could add lots of detail to this I left it as plain as I saw the scene if that makes sense because it's quite like I say every all the colors when you look at it really there's not a lot of color in it at all um, the blue that I've used on the um, the chair is actually a lot brighter than the blue that you actually do see in the chair in the scene so and even down to what Chanda's wearing wearing his clothes are very bland they're browns and beiges and things like that so uh, I just kind of tried to keep it as close to <laughs> the uh, the original scene but you know <laughs> it's just for fun <laughs> so and then again oh, as always and on the one the video I've just done today yeah endless issues with that glue clogging so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that anyway it's another issue for another day so I've got my little canoe sorted there and again just trying to finagle where I want to put them and lining them up where I want the um, the table and this is where I cut the table <laughs> I cut part of the table and didn't think about the other side um, so now it looks a bit when it actually goes on you'll see it looks a bit weird <laughs> but it's fine um, it, it kind of worked out in the end and that's all that matters really <laughs> so so just getting some uh, skinny adhesive on the chair and the table and then going to pop my table up where I need him now I do stick this flat but you'll see in a second I have to act I actually um, lift up the edges of the table because there's the layer of cardstock from the not only the curtain but also the window itself it made the table look like it was wonky so I just cut strips of spare bits of cardstock that I cut off from the the extra length of curtain and just stuck them underneath and it just lifts it just lifts it up so instead of trying to finagle with like foam adhesive just use pieces of cardstock um, if you know you've got two layers of cardstock you can use two layers of cardstock and it it will make it the same height so that there's parts of it that will be level so that it won't um, sort of go a bit wonky and off the edge kind of thing and then the similar thing with the chair but this wasn't too bad um, so I could just I could make that one work it wasn't it didn't so it wasn't so obvious um, like the, uh, the table was <laughs> and you can see look at the state of the table I mean really anyway so I got my cushion on that's my ode my ode ode to the cushion um, and I do change where Chandler actually sits here I've got it that he's sort of in the boat uh, in the canoe honestly that probably makes more sense I do change it in a minute and I actually make it like he's sitting outside the boat but he's not actually sitting outside the boat <laughs> so what I could have done is um, actually I don't know what I could have done for that but he the angle of the camera shows that he's sort of he's in the boat but he's you can sort of see his legs and things like that where he sort of sat down inside the boat whereas I couldn't uh, inside the canoe but I couldn't sort of do that with this anyway so <laughs> um, just because I didn't have a you know the exact same style of canoe so uh, yeah so you use what you have <laughs> that's what I will say so I'm going to get my canoe stuck down 
and this is where I realized my table probably should have been you know finagled a bit more but whatever and then I got him popped up there as if he's sort of sit, sat on the outside edge I didn't like him popped up actually in the end and I'm and I'm I'm doing this on a lot of cars at the moment where I, I I'm not really popping anything up um, I sort of go back and take off the pop dot and just to keep everything like glued flat because you still get all that dimension just by the fact that you've got laser cardstock and the fact that you've created this scenery uh, whatever that scenery is you're still going to have all that dimension without it being dimensional if that makes sense so in the end I actually take off the you know all the um, sort of foam dots and things from all of them um, and again on my like on my little Chandler boy <laughs> he um or guy I should say he he sort of dips a bit um, you can see it more in real life than you can on the camera so um, I will have to fix that with an extra piece of cardstock like I did with the table so it's just little things like that and then I've got my duck there in the in his galvanized tub <laughs> and this is where I take all the pop dots off because I just don't like them on there <laughs> just decide they don't work he just looked a bit odd so I stuck him flat and um, I did stick him on the outside now because originally I was going to stick him on the inside of the boat I mean the canoe um, I didn't color his feet in so <laughs> So I also need to go back and colour his feet in. So I also took the pop dot off the little chick and um, stuck him flat as well. And then the windows I realised that I didn't actually have anything in them. So um, the pieces that actually die cut those those sort of holes if you like to create the frame of the window. I could have actually used those to create some uh, you know the actual glass but in the in the scene itself there is actually uh, I think it's like like Venetian blinds or something in the window so I just made it work because it was a bit late at this point to, to suddenly start thinking Venetian blinds <laughs> so what I could have done is taken cut the frame out of completely out of the window um, and then just added a piece of cardstock and maybe sort of drawn some sort of slats or something in a brown or a beige so it gave the illusion that there was a, a blind like a venetian blind hanging up there um but i just worked with it <laughs> at this point <laughs> by the time i'd done all the digging and the sorting and the thinking and the trying to think outside the box and everything to find all these different things that would work for it i i was done with trying to do this so yes my table is probably the most disappointing thing <laughs> on this card and i didn't make it into a card it's kind of like my homage to friends because I adore it like so many um, and yeah the chick and the duck just crack me up <laughs> and the way that they interact with them um, I just adore it so I hope you've enjoyed this guys and I will see you next time